is. <laughs> okay, I'm mad happy, everyone, because I finally decided to, you know, just work on my eyelashes. Today I'll show you how I apply castor oil to my lashes for longer lashes and I'll tell you, you know, some of the pros and the cons to having used this amazing product to, you know, at least enhance the length of your eyelashes. If you haven't guessed it yet, you will guess it now that I'm just thriving towards like a natural beauty thing like naturally long hair, naturally long lashes, naturally beautiful skin, the works, you know? And I have been wearing less makeup. I still wear makeup, but I do not wear as much makeup as I usually wear, especially on a day-to-day -day basis. Maybe if I'm going on, out on a special event or something, I could like jazz it up or wear some lashes and put on extra makeup or whatever. But in general, I just want to look beautiful naturally. And by doing that, I have to work on, you know, my hair and lashes, my skin, my body and so forth. So for the lashes, I, you know, this is like by far the cheapest way that I could grow my lashes right now is by using castor oil. I don't know if you could use like other oils. I've been using this since March and we're in July now, so that would be April, May, June like roughly over three months and to my surprise i see where it actually does work where i would put castor oil on my lashes so the thing with it you may think that my lashes are not long but when you do not have something and then you get a little bit of it it's a lot to you so it just grew by a few millimeters and it got more volume and that's everything to me for the beginning and this is just the start so uh i before i just show you how i put it on my lashes i'll tell you what are the pros and the cons in wearing castor oil on your lashes for growth so firstly it does work applying castor oil does work i do know that different brands work differently uh it have been I started with this brand Sky Organics and the bottle recently finished not on my lashes because alone but I use it in my hair and other places on my body but I want to try other brands to see if those brands will enhance the growth and make it even longer also I realized that using this on my lashes has been avoiding my eyes from burning so you know when you use your phone or your laptop late at night or for those who drive when you drive for long distances especially at night your eyes would burn you a lot and my eyes do not burn me any longer when i first uh, a few years ago i had to go to the eye doctor and i actually got prescription glasses for the, my burning eyes and the doctor said that i should i i don't remember if he said castor oil but he said that you should put some form of oil on your lids on your eyelids like on the inner sections so that it helps lubricate your eyelids and avoid them from burning and he gave me like a scientific de definition and explanation for what it should avoid and how it should avoid it from being burnt and you know i didn't take him seriously i was like you know what it's doctor is always telling you to do stuff sometimes and maybe it's not gonna work. maybe he's just talking trash but i did not do this for the burning i did this for the lash growth and i proved it i went to i was driving i i was out of town recently and i didn't the bottle was too big so i decided to buy something on the road and i didn't get it in time so for the two nights that I went with old castor oil, I was driving and my eyes burned the living daylight out of me. And I was like, this is the first time in months since my eyes have burned me. So I went to the CVS and I got this one. I didn't even know that uh, you could use castor oil as a stimulant laxative for babies to relieve constipation. And this one is by CVS and it's like natural castor oil. And by the way, the castor oil that I'm using is not the black Jamaican castor oil. It's the clear one. And I realized where the black Jamaican castor oil, 
I, it does work, but I believe that the light or the white castor oil works way better than the black Canadian castor oil. A lot of people don't know about the white castor oil because it's just recently people start using oils and so forth. And since oils started getting popular, the black Jamaican castor oil has become the popular one. And I believe that the white one is the better one. Another benefit is that it gives you beautiful skin and it gives you really nicely moisturized hair. Now, uh, the only con to using castor oil is that it makes your face extremely oily. Like when you put it on your lids and I would put it on my eyebrows too. And as for my eyebrows, my eyebrows have gotten thicker. Let me take my hat off. Naturally, my eyebrows are thick and people are gonna say, you don't need to get thicker eyebrows, but I had an issue like, one of, in, in previous videos, I mentioned and I was complaining about little patches in my eyebrows and I think it was this eyebrow. I had a patch here and in this eyebrow, I had a patch up there. Those patches are gone. So even though I still fill in my eyebrows just to get like that straight seamless line with eye pencil, I still fill in my eyebrows with eye pencil to get that straight seamless line. I have grown all my patches out so like I don't have to use as much eye pencil in my eyebrows or I or brow pencil in my eyebrows let me come closer up so you could see my eyes and what's happening here and honestly how I knew that this was working initially before I started putting castor oil on my eyelashes to make them longer when I look forward I wouldn't really see any lashes and now for the first time I could actually see lashes like tipping out at the edge here it makes me so excited especially when I put on mascara I'm not wearing much mascara right now but like when I go overload my lashes just come right up like it's just so amazing I'm so happy I'm so happy I'm so happy okay so here are my lashes without any mascara and all I do is take just a little bit a little tip tiny tip on my fingertips like so and I just place them right on the base of my eyelids and I rub my eyelashes with them don't be afraid to get it like close to your the inside of your eye it doesn't burn and so far it hasn't done me anything I just rub it for a few seconds and then I take the same amount and I place it on my eyebrows like the gap was here it's gone now and the other gap was here and that's gone now and then because I have so much on I just massage it into the rest of my face into my forehead and I go to bed looking like a greasy hairball <laughs> I do put it on in the daytime also and yes I do wear it underneath my makeup so what I would do is instead of putting on like a moisturizer this is a moisturizer because it distributes all over my face anyway and then I put on my concealer not my concealer then I put on my primer and then I would use like some powder um, oil blocking powder and I would put the oil blocking powder on and then I would go right ahead with my makeup application all right guys that's it for now I'll see you in the next video bye bye now